over the past few days, we've looked at uh, the various components that go to make up the power metals business with Chief Executive uh, Paul Johnson. Uh, we've looked at the spin-out projects, we've looked at exploration strategy, we've looked at group at financing for the group and how the, uh, the, the business is financed going forward. Today, we're going to look into the future again and look at group strategy that's got power metals to where it is to date and what the group plan to do going forward. Hello again, Paul. How are you? Yeah, it's very good, Alan. How are you doing? I'm very good, thanks. Very good indeed. So uh, we have uh, two slides to look at here. Firstly, this one is looking at the various metals that you're engaged in exploring for. Can you sure. talk us through the group strategy uh, surrounding the, the metals you're looking for? Yeah, the, the, I wanted really to, to make it clear that we are not your typical uh, junior, that we are building something of scale through diversification uh, extremely focused business discipline, uh, access to multiple projects, leveraging our quite modest, in, in fairness, uh, financial strength. We're not a major, we're not a mid-tier, we are a junior. And we have millions available to deploy from a working capital perspective, but we don't have tens of millions yet. Uh, and uh, we have to really fight like dogs to, to build our place in the market. We think uh, that London uh, companies should be more aspirational. Uh, we want to be a leading company, uh, a global project company, covering uh, a good diversified mix of interests in the uh, metal space. So the metals under exploration, we've chosen precious, base and strategic metals. That gives us operational flexibility. Uh, we will pick up the waves, of course, of those super popular metals from time to time. We think uranium will have a dramatic run. Uh, we think it started that dramatic run. We, we think that lithium, uh, cobalt will be very valuable in the marketplace uh, and continue to draw lots of investor interest. The big industrial metals as we infrastructure up and go to the new green technology revolution, huge amounts of copper and nickel needed uh, to you know, enable that to happen. And then if you look at uh, some of the more strategic and uh, not quite exotic metals, but the likes of tungsten, <clears throat> where China has been the supplier of tungsten for a long period of time, and that's kind of coming to an end. And big places, the United States of America, are looking to develop homeland security for important metals such as tungsten. So we have that within the portfolio. And then, of course, we have the great precious metals in our business, uh, you know, gold and silver. To give people uh, that assurance, that investment assurance, we think there'll be tremendous demand. So we kind of have it covered. That's a deliberate policy. Uh, there may well be more in the future. But at the moment, right now, we have a good broad spectrum approach with the metals. Okay, Paul. So we now have a slide where we're looking at the how you deploy the group strategy around the world. Can you talk us through this? Yeah, we've our business uh, started out back in 2019 when we restructured and refinanced with three projects in Western Central Africa, in the Ivory Coast, Cameroon, and the DRC. At the moment, we have one of those projects that we're uh, you know investing money into, as it were. The uh, push of our business as we've grown thereafter has been to uh, not quite focus on uh, secure destinations, but it's certainly been in the back of our mind to, to make sure that we uh, allocate capital carefully. And in any junior exploration company, you need to have a good proportion of capital allocated into secure jurisdictions. Now, uh, you see on the slide there the top 10 uh jurisdictions at the moment and uh we are operational effectively in six of them across our business we have a global business you would expect as if we're serious in mining to focus on jurisdictions where mining is uh welcomed where there is lots of support there's lots of infrastructure and there's a real possibility to develop major metal discoveries we're also focused if you look at our african operations quite heavily on uh botswana uh, Botswana is a jurisdiction I've been working in for quite a few years now. 
uh, and you have security of tenure. There's a very supportive mining industry uh, in there and exploration industry. There's significant infrastructure and uh, all the things that you need to do a thorough job. So we've spent a fair amount of our time and energy building our portfolio in Botswana. So it's not just about the metals. It's also about the jurisdictions and making sure we are operational in the right places for our business. Well, Paul, thank you for that comprehensive overview of Power Metal Resources and the information that you've provided to our viewers over the past four days. Of course, the Power Metal Resources website has a lot of information that viewers can see, and I'm going to bring up a slide now which will cover some of uh, what you can find there. Paul, perhaps I'll leave the last word to you. Yeah, the... Uh watch that front page of the website that will change as the uh, as the weeks go by i'm sure the uh, we are aspirational i said that at the start we want to build a major metals business uh, focused in london and out of london on the main mining jurisdictions around the world we're doing it innovatively in a way that will enable us to build substantial scale but alan this is the junior resource space it's a cyclical market I've spent most of my life in cyclical markets. I used to work in insurance where the rates go up and down every two or three years. And we're in that space now. So I suspect we'll be in for a major, major run in the junior mining space as the metal prices continue to strengthen. We may well have a few uh, shocks along the way with the general economic climate being a little bit volatile. But I'm sure even if the world did crumble in the financial markets, the uh, metal space, as usual, will fire out and be the phoenix rising from the ashes quite quickly. So I'm confident in that. But I do know that cyclicity in the market means this is never going to be a major long term business for the juniors. You know, it, it, the only chance you give yourself to be in business properly uh, in 10 years time is to build scale size and almost be irreplaceable you look at some of the big companies that have emerged in our space the glencores of this world they've done so uh, with a fair amount of challenge on the way by going uh, and becoming major players and this is what we have to do as a, as a company uh, increase our strength diversify our business find more major discoveries build our asset base become almost irreplaceable in the market and uh, when i say life-changing on that uh, front page screenshot you've got there i'm talking about not just power metal shareholders or the company itself i'm talking about the jurisdictions in which we operate the communities with which we work and uh, and the people in those communities who help us and assist us uh, and become the team members of the business out in the field uh, everyone has to benefit from the work that we do uh, not just the company uh, and not just the shareholders. So we're very focused on that as well. So watch our story, Alan. I know we'll have more of these interviews and discussions where I rab it on at you. With a passion and drive in this business, there are people, nine of us in this business now working at this, incredibly talented people, geologists, accountants, you know, general business management, marketing and communications, uh, you know, accounting and finance, everything you want, all within the company. I think... Uh, the 2022 period will be fascinating for this company. As you know, Paul, I have a great interest in the mining sector and I'm really excited about what, uh, what's going to happen this year. I think for Power Metal Resources, but also the companies you're spinning out too. I wish you every success for this year. Thank you very much, Alan.